so I decided to redesign the well, redesign that's a bit um, steep. Let's say I'm going to design the badge, the, the BMW uh, badges, Mali. Um, this one's getting a wee tiny tarnish on it. Um, yeah, and I thought, oh, I'm just going to take the opportunity to, to uh, use my 3D printing knowledge um, and model a badge up, which I want to kind of colour coordinate with with the car. So I'm lucky in the aspect, I mean you can get this program free, it's called Fusion 360, uh, but I use this at my work. Um, and what I started out with is a sketch, <coughs> um, you can see roughly the BMW sign there, um, and I'm going to put say three, I don't want it, I want the badge to be a kind of layered effect, I don't want the dome on it, so I just started going through the process of um, modelling up. This is it, going through the stages, um, modelling the, the badge up to the way I wanted it to look, which is going to be something like that. Um, so as you can see there, it is going to have that kind of 3D layered effect, <coughs> and I'm going to put inlays in the colour of where the BMW is, and I'm also taking out the BMW. The plan is I'm going to put a carbon fibre inlay and the colours there. In fact, do you know what I think you can maybe see a render I did? Oh no, I've not got Oh no, in fact I have, I have a render there. So it's going to look something like that. Um, it's not very naughty, everyone's taste, but this is what I'm doing. I'm, um, it'll make sense once you see it on the car, but I'm going to, um, yeah, this is the way I want it to work. So as I say, yeah, Fusion 360, it's free, it's, uh, anyone can use it and learn how to use it. Um, but yeah, so we'll go through the process of 3D printing it. So I am lucky in the aspect of where I work, <coughs> um, I've accessed a lot of uh, 3D printing technology. Um, so this is going to be printed on a machine called a Figure 4. Um, it is a DLP printer which is digital light um, projection. Um, Yes, yeah, so you can see here I'm just moving it into position, roughly where I think it's, it needs to be printed and I think for this one to have the least amount of support I want to um, just put this at a slight angle I think. Um, yeah, let's, let's just turn that on its side a wee bit. And that way I'm going to avoid any support coming off here and it should be quite a good finish on it. Um, I'm not too fussed about the back. Um, and to print it flat would leave kind of um, staggered layers on a curve. If you imagine that flat and you're printing um, across the way like that, it's going to leave stepping on it. So this way you're, you're going to avoid the stepping. Um, I think that looks a bit right there. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, we'll just support it now. Uh, create support. Uh, I don't really think it needs these bits of support here, so I am just going to take these off. Um, I think it will be absolutely fine. Taking these ones off. I'll do it. And I'm going to add some support onto the bottom surface. Um, and that's just to make sure that it, it's got a good connection to the platform. like 
Yep, I'm happy with that. So this is a Figure 4 3D systems machine, um, and it's called a DLP, which is a digital light projection instead of a laser. So you can see in there, there's a projector, which flashes off onto the top layer of the, and at the bottom layer of the screen. And then it builds, you'll see the build plate coming up with it. Um, it's pretty cool, and this is material called Pro Black 10. Um, so we'll just get that kicked off and I'll put it on a time lapse. Once the part comes out, it, <clears throat> it still has residue resin on it, so you have to just give it a wee clean, um, and then it has to be UV cured. Um, yeah, but it's not too bad. Um, So after um, spraying the, the badge up, you can see how it's shiny, um, I want the Z and the 3 to be a gloss black colour, so that's the only surface I was worried about. Um, the rest, well, you'll see what I'll do with that once I'm finished. Um, so I've already done a video on um, casting and moulding, so if you, I'll try and put a link up here at some point, um, but I'll just kind of, I'll, I'll scoot through this quite quickly, um, so you can see it getting set up for a mould, um, and cast it. So yeah, this um, silicon is uh, by a company called BB Dino, which I got off um, Amazon, I think it's about £20. Pounds. Um, and this is the kind of <coughs> 600 gram kit. Um, yep, so we'll just mix these up. Pour it into the mould box, which I just use Persvex for, and then we'll come back in six hours and uh, see it cast. So I'm just going to start at a corner and pour it in. So that's it, that just been poured. Um, it takes about four four hours to go off, um, and then we'll break the break the part out. Um, rule of thumb is if the part you are uh, moulding is gloss finish. It will come out with a, with a nice um, gloss uh, effect on the black casting resin I'm using. If you were to use a matte lacquer on the part or it had a textured finish, it would more than likely come out with a matte finish. Um, but um, we'll show you, show you once it's done, it'll make more sense. So that's been a few hours uh, since the silicon cured. Um, so just going to cut the mould open. Um, See what it looks like, and that was done with that. Um, the silicon used was with that uh, company called uh, BB Dino. BB Dino. B -b 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 I have no idea. BB -b Dino. Um, I'll, I'll leave a description for it, and you can try and uh, find it. It's, it's pretty good stuff. Um, I actually quite like the colour the green. It's usually a clear stuff I use.
Oh yes, that's pretty good. So you might just be able to see the, the light bouncing off the inside of it. So it's the Z and the 3 is what I'm interested in. The rest I am... I'm going to do something special way to match the colour of the car scheme. Um, yeah, so that basically is how to create a mould. And I'm going to need four lifts off this because I've got four badges. I'm going to do the two side ones which are on the the grill, the the wee can add, I don't know what do they call these, the sharp gills. Um, yeah, so I'll be putting one on here and I've taken out the BMW. So yeah, the next time you see, I will show you how to cast it. So that's been <coughs> um, overnight. I've let the the uh, mould cure overnight. Um, it's better not use it too soon, just in case you pull up the mould if it's not cured properly. Um, and now I'll just mix up this um, black resin, which is Polycraft 368 black. Um, I'll not need much, and I'm going to take four lifts off this for four badges. Um, and it's just a one to one ratio mix. Uh, that should be enough. Um, you can weigh all this out if you want to, um, but with a one to one ratio, it's, it's quite easy to eyeball. Gently pour it and it should um, degas itself. Just, there we go, there we pour. Perfect. Yep, yeah, so now the, the pot life in that once you mix it is about six to seven minutes, it says on the in the bottle, uh, D mold, uh, 63, three to four minutes is the pot life, 60 minutes really before it goes hard. So that's about four hours to do four, an hour each one. Um, you could actually probably take it a bit soft and cut that down to 30 minutes, but we'll leave it an hour. Um, yeah, and I'll show you when it comes out. So uh, that's been uh, about an hour <coughs> for these, for this part. Uh, I'm just going to wait to demold it. Um, just double check it's hard. Um, it's pretty obvious. And just gently take it out the mould. Yeah, that's worked pretty good. Um, so you can see, <coughs> I'll try and get the light on it for you. You can just see the, the, the Z and the 3 is what I want to be shiny. The rest I'm going to do something else with. So that's pretty much how you do um, moulds. Um, Get the silicon, which was this uh, BB, BB Dino stuff, super elastic platinum silicone rubber. Um, you can find this on Amazon, not that I'm advertising Amazon, uh, and there's Polycraft FC3680 Black. Um, it, it's an interesting process to do, you can cast a lot of stuff, um, and if you can use CAD packages, etc., um, or you just want to cast something that's got a flat back on it, it's, uh, it's a good process to do. And we'll save you some cash um, if you want to start selling bits as well, I don't know. But for four badges, uh, yeah, that's good enough for me. Anyway, um, yeah, that's it for this one. Hopefully uh, see you see the next one. Uh, oh, I should also say uh, like, subscribe, uh, comment, uh, I don't know. Um, just to hope you like the stuff and do that if you want. Uh, right, see you in the next one.